his cell phone. Um, I had his cell number because I was on the city council. And yes, sir. Anyway, I, that's when I noticed the glove laying out in the yard. Now, who is Billy Hancock? The chief of police of Oak Georgia. And did um, Billy Hancock, the chief, wind up responding that day to Tara's home? Yeah, they come right on. Now, you said you noticed the glove. Tell us what you mean by that. Where was the glove? Probably about five foot off of her front porch. Mm -hmm. You may. Mr. Portier, I'm going to show you first what's been marked in State's Exhibit 1 and ask you if you recognize that. You can wear your glasses if you need to. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how do you recognize State's 1? How do I recognize it? Yes, sir. Well, it was Tara's front yard. Okay. And does that appear to be a true and accurate depiction of Tara's front yard as it appeared that morning, that Monday morning when you went there? Yes. And then I'm going to show you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 2 and ask you if you recognize that. Yes. How do you recognize that? That was a glove I saw that I pointed out to uh, Chief Hancock. Is that a true and accurate depiction of what that glove looked like in the yard that Monday morning? Yes. Um, as to states one and states two, again, are they true and accurate depictions of what you saw that Monday morning? Yes, Any yes. Any changes, deletions, subtractions, anything of that nature from what you saw then? No. Uh -huh. Your Honor, this time I will tender and edit states exhibits one and two. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. All right, they're admitted. And may I publish those for jury? You may. Now, Mr. Portier, when you went into Tara's home that morning, um, did you disturb anything in her home? Did you touch anything other than just going in and looking for her? I'm sure we did. Uh, you know, we were looking under beds and closets and, you know, just plundering, really. Uh, yes, sir. Somebody wanted to know, reckon she just packed her bags and left and... Of course, I looked in the closet and I told them, you know, I wouldn't know if my wife had packed a bag and left unless she <laughs> took everything she had. Okay. Um, but we, you know, we was really uh, trying to find an uh, extra set of keys to the car so we could look in the trunk. Yes, sir. Uh, At that point, did you have any idea what had happened to Tara? No. Uh, May I approach the witness, Judge? You may. Mr. Portier, I'm going to show you first what's in Martin State's Exhibit 3 and ask you if you recognize States 3. I do. Uh, how do you recognize States 3? <clears throat> I, got a, I got the same picture. You do have the same picture? And is that a true and accurate depiction of what Tara Grinstead looked like the last time you saw her in 2005? Yes. States Exhibit 4, do you recognize that? Yes. And how do you recognize State's Exhibit 4? I think I have a, a copy of that picture. 
that true and accurate depiction of what Tara Grinstead looked like the last time you saw her in 2005? Yes. States Exhibit 5, do you recognize that? Yes. And how do you recognize States 5? That's Tara. Is that a true and accurate depiction of what Tara looked like the last time you saw her in 2005? Yes. And then finally, state six. Do you recognize state six? Yes. And how do you recognize state six? I think that's a picture they had on her, the, the missing person. Is that also a true and accurate depiction of what Tara looked like in 2005, the last yes. time you saw her? Yes. All right, this time I would tender to evidence states three, four, five, and six. No objection. All right, they're admitted. May I publish at least some of those to the jury judge? You may. I'm going to attempt to use the system over here. I understand you have to turn it off for me, though. It's upside down over here. You can see it on your screen, though? I can see it on mine. I don't know what it's, it's not showing. Just Live. Yeah, I've, I've hit it sometimes and just nothing. Uh, That's not more work. I can just have to do you mind if I approach? Nope. You, you mind or you don't mind? No, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Come on up. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I just. I'm just going to move on, Judge. We'll figure that out later. All that fancy technology never seems to work when I need it anyway. May I publish... Yeah. Let's leave it on. I'm sorry, Judge. May I publish takes three, four, five, and six to the jury? You may. Thank you, Judge. Mr. Portier, the residence where Tara Grinstead lived in 2005 next door to you, what county was that in? Irwin. And from that Saturday when you went over and saw her um, after she had helped fix up your granddaughter, Mary Beth, um, have you ever seen Tara Grinstead again? No. I don't have any further questions of this witness, Judge. Mr. Fox. Morning. Do you know or have you ever met Mr. Bo Dukes? Pardon? Do you know or have you ever met Mr. Bo Dukes? I knew of him because he played football for Irwin County High, and I'm okay. a big fan. Okay. Other than him having played football, did you two ever meet, talk, or anything like that? All right. I just, I just knew of him. All right. Thank you, sir. Anything further? No, sir. All right. You step down. Can I go home? <laughs> he can't be excused. No, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. 